Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we will check out the Google Kickstart problem 2021 round D. Okay, the problem name is arithmetic square. So here actually like uh, you'll be given a three by three matrix. Okay, and uh, and one of the items in this three cross three matrix is missing. Okay, the and actually the it's a center item. Okay, G. Um, let me copy this. Sir. So that is easy for me to explain. Okay, here this item is missing, and uh, if they are given three test cases, for every test case, the center item is missing. Okay, so your job is to update this item. Okay, so now your question is like, what is the value uh, to be updated there actually? Okay, so you have to update such a way that it will satisfy the arithmetic. Uh, series okay so uh, arithmetic progression okay so <clears throat> if i scroll up above so this is arithmetic progression this series two four six uh, six four two okay in simple words uh, the difference between two consecutive integers must be equal okay so, so this is they have given here b minus a if the a b c are this uh, uh, are the series in arithmetic progressions then b minus a should be is equal to c minus a C minus B. Okay, in the example, so here this is not an arithmetic progression because 3 minus 4 is minus 1 and 4 minus 11 is minus 7. But if you consider this one, right, 11, 9, and 7, this is an arithmetic progression. 11 minus 9 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. Uh, so, uh, same way, you have to uh, you have to update this value such a way that you uh, there is some arithmetic progressions okay, everywhere. For example, like if you update it, it's 5, 4, 5, 6. Right, it's arithmetic progressions minus six, one, five, and eleven. That's an also arithmetic progressions. So I think uh, if you scroll down below, I think the five is the answer here. Okay, three, five, seven. Okay, if you see this uh, here, three, five, seven. This diagonal three, five, seven, and uh, minus one, eleven, uh, minus one, five, eleven, uh, four, five, six. And 11, uh, 9, 4, 11, 9, 7, 11, 9, 7. So you have a total of 4 arithmetic progression. That's why the answer is 4 here. Okay, same thing over here also. I will not go through all this. But instead of this, what I will do, I will just explain uh, the data from uh, the test set 1. Okay, I have downloaded test set 1 and test set 2. So I have picked uh, 3. Uh, matrices from there so I explained that from there so in this example if you see okay uh, there are two possible values which you can update here okay either 5 or minus 8 so if you are uh, by the way how to find uh, uh, possible arithmetic progression say for example you are um, finding uh, arithmetic progression in this center row or center column okay so 5 plus 5 is 10 divided by 2 you should find an the in between value between these two numbers okay same thing if you do it here 32 in this diagonal second diagonal 32 minus 48 divided by 2 so you get uh, minus 16, 16 and uh, and if you divide by 2 you get minus 8 and if you add these values right this primary diagonal 1 minus 38 you will get minus 37 and when you divide this by 2 you will get an uh, uh, fractional value so uh, what i'm trying to say is that if you get a, a value which is not an uh, even number then that uh, you cannot form arithmetic progression using that series okay so the sum of values should be always even number okay that's why i think here we have only 5 and minus 8 and among these two values so if you add 5 here then only you have maximum arithmetic progressions in center row and center column that's why the answer is 2 here in this example uh, i think 4 10 4 this is not arithmetic progressions 4 4 10 no 4 10 10 10 4 10 there, there are no arithmetic progressions in the given series but you can form one but substituting some value here let's find center value Okay, to find center value, you have to just do like uh, 4 plus 10 divided by 2, 14 by 2 is uh, 7, and it's uh, 14 in every scenario. Uh, the primary diagonal, secondary diagonal, uh, uh, the top, uh, I think this is center column and center row. Okay, so you'll get 14 in every case, divided by 2 is 7, so 
7 is the answer. So since you have like uh, the 4 scenarios, the answer will be 4. Okay. Here this is also pretty straightforward. Okay. The maximum in any given 3 cross 3 matrix, the maximum arithmetic uh, progression you can have is 8. Okay. 3 rows, 3 columns and 2 diagonals. Okay. And here since all numbers are equal, okay, so for any, uh, if you consider any two numbers, right, so for example, if you consider like diagonal number minus 3 minus 3, okay, it will be minus 6 by 2 minus 3. So, the center value is all, minus 3 is the only value which is possible uh, uh, to make this um, as, to create uh, arithmetic progression series uh, and, uh, and there is no other value which can satisfy this uh, arithmetic progression uh, condition, okay. So, total you have here the 8 has uh, the 8 arithmetic progressions if you have uh, updated this value is minus 3. So the answer is 2 and 4 and 8 for these 3 uh, test sets. Okay, so I hope this, uh, this is very clear. So let us quickly uh, check the logic. Okay, so here the uh, first thing you have to uh, read this uh, uh, number of tests uh, and for every test case you have to read 3 rows. Okay, so 3 rows and I think also you have to the u of with some number say for example 0 after the center value of the second row with 0 okay and uh, then find all the possible values uh, find all the possible values it is like uh, for every uh, this right let me like for this every uh, possible combination uh, okay uh, right now we have four series uh, let me quickly show you in this uh, slide only. Here, okay. So if you if you want to try to find the possible all the possible uh, uh, numbers uh, in the center, so you have to consider the four series. That is like uh, the center row, center column, and uh, the primary diagonal and secondary diagonal. So these four series you have to consider. That's what I'm explaining here. Okay. So for all these four series, uh, check whether there is an arithmetic progression and what is the value. Okay, add it to us, uh, add that value in the center and for that all these uh, possible values, find out the, the total count of uh, arithmetic progressions and append that to a counter and find the maximum uh, from that uh, counter, maximum counter. Okay. So, if, for example, if you add to a list all the counts for all every possible value, then I hope this is making sense and, uh, and just finally output that uh, total count. Okay, total maximum count. Okay, let's I think jump into the coding part. So let me just copy this. Okay, so first is read inputs and read uh, uh, three test rows. So tests is equal to. My test is greater than zero. Okay, and here you have to uh, input logic and what? Okay, first let's update this input and output. Huh? So first I think you have to read this uh, input. So okay, so to read the input, huh? so you can do like. Uh, a is equal to uh, you can have two options you can read it as like a list okay uh, to read it as a list like you have to read the value so input comes string. okay so here you'll get a three string value so to convert this into an integer you can just do it in this way and uh, this will you, this will return a map object so you have to convert into a list but in this example i will consider a numpy array okay so it's uh, up to you uh, if you want to continue using list only just uh, i mean uh, ignore the numpy part uh, but it's uh, also a good um, option to read uh, this uh, numpy model because it's very useful in data science and machine learning fields uh, okay and also it's uh, more faster than the list so then now to make this an umpire, let's uh, like uh, rename the value as like maybe array and uh, we just have to do np dot array that's all. Okay. Then uh, next is like I will just uh, 
I'll copy this one. Oh, I think uh, yeah. Okay, but instead of numpy, I have to do uh, append. So again, I am appending the new value. So and I am appending to the array existing array, and this is the list. So if I calculate the number of closing brackets and opening brackets, uh, I think this is fine. Yeah, looks good. This is the second row. And this is the third row and if i am correct the second row has only two uh, 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 two integers right it doesn't have more than uh, one so what you do is uh, just uh, <coughs> convert this uh, i mean add this zero in the center okay so when you read an integer right here this for example if you are reading here three four okay it will read it as three four and sorry four three four three six three four and eleven and when you read this it will append it actually directly three four and eleven and ten and nine so what you need to do you need to add zero here okay so what is this uh, uh, the index for this zero one two three four right four so you have to add a zero in the fourth uh, index to do that what you do you need to do is you just have to do arr is equal to np dot insert the fourth index and the value is zero and if you're doing the same thing with the list right so for example if you're considering a b c list so you have to uh, you have to append insert it in second list insert four comma zero this is how you do if you are using list okay so i hope you are clear with this then you uh, append the final third row okay so you have your three cross three matrix here and by the way it's a one dimensional list you know? to make it a two dimensional list in uh, numpy it's very easy you just have to update the shape of that array okay so now comes the real logic part before logic part maybe i'll update the output also and uh, Maybe let us have one value as a test case is equal to one. And here I am using here uh, um, f string, so which is very easy actually. So here we have a case here we have to update the test case and colon and answer. Okay, and uh, after this, I think you have to update this uh, test case with one plus one. Okay, so this is the input is done, output is done. The only part is logic is remaining. Okay, so if you see this value, this is done. Okay, now we are doing this one. Find all the possible. Okay, find all the possible values of so four series. Like we have four series here: center row and uh, center column and diagonal and second diagonal. Okay, to do, do this, uh, what we need to do is we just have to uh, maybe we first we have need to have a set. Okay, because uh, uh, in in the example which I had shown you okay. here, you if you have like five is the answer here five plus five divided by two is five and here also you have five you don't want to save both the five so you just can have save only one five right so for that you just need a set so maybe i will name the variable as possible value so like as a set and after this i will start checking that so if Zero. Okay, this indicates in numpy. This indicates the first. Uh, I mean, this is it's a zero, zero index based. So it's second row. Error uh, zero represents the first row. Error one represents the second row. So in the second row, the first uh, value. Okay, and in the last value, in the second row, last value. If the it's an even number. 
to find that even number you can just do mod 2 is equal to 0 ok then you just add to that uh, possible value ok add this value into that ok you add that center value uh, uh, to this particular uh, uh, list ok same thing you should repeat uh, for the other four series ok so here we are doing it uh, ok cent center row we are uh, actually done and now this we have to do for center uh, column also so that is center column may be the 0 comma 1 and uh, 2 comma 1 right and same thing you have to do in a list also in list it will be like maybe uh, a of uh, list for example if you have a and b b c then it will be like in the second row will be like uh, b of 0 and b of uh, minus 1 or b of 2 okay that, that, that is how you do it here since i'm doing it through this uh, matrix uh, numpy matrix uh, i'm using this uh, syntax uh, Okay, so 0, 1 and 2, 1. So here also I have to update. Two, one. Okay, so now this is the center row and center column done. Now we have to find out for diagonal. For diagonal, we can just do 0, 0 and uh, uh, 0, the first element and the last element. 0, 0. And finally, the secondary diagonal, which is nothing but 0, uh, 2, okay, and uh, 0, 2, 0, right, 0, 2, and 2, 0, okay, now you have all the possible values, so, so once you have the, all the possible values, so, now set next step is you have to, uh, for every possible value, update the center value as possible value okay okay so just we have to look through all the possible values so for okay now on uh, the center value is nothing but uh, we are first row first column that is 0 0 1 the center to center column right so <laughs> And uh, this is equal to the possible value. Okay, this is done. And uh, next, uh, count the total uh, number of arithmetic progressions. Okay, to do that, uh, we have what we need to do is like uh, we need to uh, loop through all the series, right? So for uh, x uh, in, okay, so x is nothing but the group of three numbers. Uh, so the first number is nothing but uh, this uh, the first row. Uh, sorry, uh, zero, two. Yes, I think the, you, you have to include even the first row also. You have to include all the rows. Okay, uh, first row, first column, and uh, let me just quickly update that. Uh, okay, for x in, this indicates the first row. Okay, and uh, this indicates ARR one indicates the first column, AR2 indicates the second column. So, X is equal to AR0 at one time, AR1 at the other time, AR2 at the other time. Okay, AR0 is nothing but in this case 3, 4, 11, X is nothing but 3, 4, 11, X is nothing but uh, uh, or we can put it as like X comma X, Y, Z to avoid confusion for X, Y, Z in this uh, values and this is not over yet. So, what you need to do is maybe we need all the columns also, right? So can just update this this pen. Okay, so here the, to make get the call any column from uh, an array, you can just do this. And this is very simple. Like all the rows and the zero column. Okay, if you do same thing in uh, list, right? It becomes little bit tough, uh, tedious, and more complicated actually. Okay, so it's always preferable that uh, you do it all these matrix operations using numpy and 
anyway, this uh, because that if you see in any blogs or all right, this is anyway very useful NumPy, and so it is always good to start. You start learning this NumPy, it's always uh, helpful for you in most of the fields. Okay, I think there is a method called as diagonal, so we can find the diagonal uh, of any matrix using the diagonal method. So I will be using that term. Okay, so diagonal and okay. And to find out the second diagonal, what we need to do is uh, Okay, this np or diagonal method will return you the first diagonal, uh, the primary diagonal. Okay, to find the secondary diagonal, you need to do flip the matrix. You should not uh, update this ARR. Instead of that, you use one more method called flip LR. Okay, this is flipping uh, vertical wise. Okay, here you will uh, flipping the matrix and getting the primary diagonal of the flipped matrix. Okay, so that you will get the uh, Result here. Yeah. Okay. So now you have your value x, y, z, and for these values, okay, if x plus z is equal to two into y, okay, then just uh, no need of saying that value. Just uh, add. If it's other progression, just add a counter, update the counter. Okay. So to update the counter, we need a counter variable also. So just have the counter variable as zero. And um, here you can have a list actually which to store all the counts and get the maximum counts. Or you can just uh, have an uh, directly answer only. So answer maybe is equal to zero. And here what you can do is outside this. Uh, This loop, if the counter variable is greater than the previous counts, okay, then use that count as the answer because we need a maximum count, right? I think this should work, and then I think uh, test case one one. This this I think uh, this time. we are not appending this count to a list counter because we are using different logic. But yeah, it's up to you. I think this logic would be a uh, uh, I think uh, faster than uh, other logics. Okay. So I think this that's all I think. Let's uh, run our code and check. Okay, so I hope this is not correct. Okay. okay. So I hope you are uh, understood this. If you will, uh, if you have any doubts, you can update it in a comment. I will happy to help you. And uh, yeah, and also if this is helpful for you, know you can uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can get a notification about all the future videos. So, Okay, the sample failed. Why? So this is the, uh, I mean, uh, I, I had a, a single equal, so I just have to update it as double equal to. Uh, in, uh, this is how you compare two logical operators. And now let me submit it one more time. Okay, so yeah. That's all. Yeah, we have separated everything. So in the next uh, session, we will go through the next problem. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Have a nice day.